All right, folks, Nathan Adlin here at the 2016 SEMA show in Las Vegas, Nevada, and this is the Toyota Land Speed Cruiser. Check this out. It produces between 2,500 and 3,000 horsepower, and we're gonna tell you all about it next. So this crazy Land Cruiser is the ultimate evolution of our past, present, and extreme theme. It is called the Land Speed Cruiser. And it's a vehicle with a 5.7 liter 3UR that's born stroke to 6.2 liters. It's got two humongous Garrett GTX turbochargers on it. It's capable of 2,500 horsepower and it's also capable of going 220 miles an hour. The, the idea of this car came from Steve Applebaum, one of the uh, managers at Toyota. He said, let's make a fast Land Cruiser. Well, that fast Land Cruiser has morphed into the Land Speed Cruiser. So we're, we're really happy about the, the way it's come about here. Right now, we've gone uh, 165 miles an hour at the Toyota Arizona Proving Grounds. Um, we weren't able to attain all the speed we wanted to get there, uh, because of time constraints. So we're going to go back there after this, uh, the show and uh, continue our development. It, you have to take these things in steps. You, you can't just go right out and put the big number down. It, just, it never works out that easily. So the engine was bored out from a 5.7 liter all the way to a 6.2 liter and it has two turbochargers. Uh, we've got two different transmissions we've been developing. One has been an ATI transmission with a gear vendor overdrive and the other one's been a Weissman 8-speed manual. The eight-speed manual is the four-wheel drive and the ATI is a two-wheel drive. I really lean towards the Weissman gearbox uh, because Land Cruiser should be four-wheel drive. Out of that, uh, the, we the Weissman gearbox, uh, it's, it's an extremely sophisticated Formula One shifting type gearbox. So it drives like, like nobody's business, it's a really quick acceleration. The ATI has got a lot of strength. So either one has been working for us and we're just still developing to figure out what is the best way to go fast. Inside there's a roll cage, um, a proper Momo uh, FIA certified racing seat with Simpson harnesses, but you'll notice it's still got the wood steering wheel, um, you've still got sort of the, the factory HVAC controls. There's a little display over there which is our um, dash that actually has various readouts for boost and for inlet air temperature and for water temperature. But other than that, you'll notice that the doors, you know, the doors are all still finished. Um, everything is ultimately for us, the Land Cruiser is ultimate luxury, ultimate capability, and now we've added ultimate speed. Polished manifold on the top, a lot of stainless lines, a lot of fuel going in and out. Uh, notice that there's blow-off valves on either side. Um, it's got dual wastegates, dual turbos integrated into the bumper here. That's the intercooler tank. We can fill it with ice uh, so that it can actually keep the air even colder for short runs when we're going after that speed record. That's the normal mesh that goes in front of the turbo, but we've opened one up over here just so some partnerships, just so that we can see. So that is a massive turbocharger there. And there's a pair of them. And when you're feeding a 6.2 liter built V8, I mean, you've got that 2,000, 3,000 horsepower within range. Right now, this vehicle is a two-wheel drive vehicle to come to here. Uh, the Weissman box is sitting on the shelf back at home, and we're looking at changing some of the computer, uh, computer operation for that transmission for our next step. Uh, it's right, currently, we're running a separate transmission computer and engine computer. We're going to see if we can integrate one computer to drive both, and then we'll be, uh, it'll be more consistent with the way it functions. The suspension is a, is, is a specially tuned Fox Shock I-Box spring suspension, and um, we tuned it for a supple, it, it, it rides really, really nice in all conditions. It, I can go over speed bumps with it. Um, it, it drives as you would drive a regular car. It's just the nicest suspension, really stable. At, at the speed I took it to, it's just under 165, it was as stable as can be. It was just beautiful, straight, straight line. Don't you want one? So do I. There are absolutely no plans whatsoever for this to go into production. But stay tuned, you'll never know when you're gonna see videos of this baby tearing up the asphalt. Hey, if you wanna subscribe, click down there. And for more on SEMA, click up there. For the Fast Lane Truck, this is Nathan Adlin. I'll see you next time. You saw first on the Fast Lane Truck.